Until the 2010s, the United States remained the center of the global automobile market. However, with the changes in the Chinese market, the industry's landscape has also undergone a transformation. The development center of the automotive industry is now in China. In particular, the core components of electric vehicles, such as the battery market, have undergone earth-shattering changes in just a few years. The battery market previously dominated by Panasonic, LG Chemistry, and Samsung SDI has now been overturned by China's CATL, Contemporary Amperex Technology Company, Limited, which has become the world's largest battery manufacturer at rapid speed. In fact, most car companies around the world are now unable to produce electric vehicles without CATL's batteries. According to the 2022 performance figures, the companies with the highest market share are China's CATL with 270 GWh, accounting for 39.1%, followed by LG Energy Solution with 103 GWh, accounting for 13.6%, BYD with 84 GWh, Panasonic with 49 GWh, accounting for 7.3%, SK Innovation with 44 GWh, accounting for 5.4% and Samsung SDI with 36 GWh, accounting for 4.7%. In terms of national distribution, Chinese companies account for 60.4%, South Korea for 23.7%, Japan for 7.3%, and other countries for 8.6%. Notably, Chinese companies, including CATL and BYD, are experiencing explosive growth. So why did CATL suddenly rise to prominence? What are its Trump technologies? And why do so many global car companies choose it? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. OK, let's get started. CATL is the world's largest battery company, but its history is short. It was founded in 1999 and until 2010, it was a relatively unknown small mobile phone battery company. However, the situation changed when it began producing lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles in 2011. By 2016, its annual battery export volume reached 6.8 GWh, and CATL became the world's third-largest electric vehicle battery supplier after BYD and Panasonic. Its rapid growth in such a short period of time was due to China's government policies. In China, in order to receive subsidies for new energy vehicles starting from 2010, batteries must be purchased from certified Chinese companies. During this period, there were no overseas companies that received certification. Fortunately, CATL was able to provide batteries for BMW in 2015. Although the production volume and sales were small, it provided an opportunity for the company to focus on technology development. Moreover, before early 2016, the Chinese government excluded major domestic battery suppliers such as LG Chemistry and Samsung SDI from the supplier list. Although the Chinese government did not specify the exact reasons, it was widely believed to be due to the political background of the THAAD issue. Therefore, Policies laid the foundation for CATL's rapid development and the Chinese government invested 10 trillion yuan in building battery factories. As a result, in 2017, CATL surpassed Panasonic, LG Chemistry, and Samsung SDI, becoming the world's largest battery company. CATL began expanding its scale in 2018, prioritizing supplying SAIC. Its production capacity increased from 7.5 GWh in 2018 to 21.31 GWh in 2019. The companies that CATL supplies batteries to include European companies such as Volkswagen, BMW, Daimler, Volvo, PSA Group, Renault, as well as Japanese companies such as Toyota, Nissan, and Honda. In early 2020, Honda began collaborating with CATL, while Mercedes-Benz announced an expansion of their battery technology cooperation. In 2021, CATL signed a four-year battery supply contract with Tesla, with deliveries of lithium-ion phosphate batteries beginning in 2022. 
Today, nearly all vehicle manufacturers worldwide rely on CATL's batteries. As a result, CATL has begun overseas investments. In 2019, it invested 1.8 billion euros to expand its European production and research center, which is used for lithium-ion battery production, product research, development, and testing. Before announcing its IRA in the United States in early 2022, CATL also announced plans to build a factory capable of producing 80 GWH per year in the United States. However, this plan ultimately fell through, and instead, CATL teamed up with Ford and Tesla to use their technology to build battery production factories in the United States. Originally, CATL also considered building at least two factories in Mexico to provide battery cores for Ford and Tesla. In August 2022, CATL announced the construction of another cell factory in Debrecen, Hungary. This is the second factory in Europe after the one in Erfurt, Germany, and aims to provide battery cores to Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Stellantis, and Volkswagen factories in Germany and Hungary, as well as better meet the battery demand in the European market. In addition, as part of its efforts to reduce carbon footprints in battery manufacturing, CATL will use renewable energy and consider developing solar power with partners. Mercedes-Benz also announced that the new CATL factory in Debrecen, Hungary, will supply battery cores to their European factories in Germany and Hungary. Mercedes-Benz has already started using CATL battery cores imported from China. CA CATL is also putting effort into technological development. In 2020, it achieved mass production of new super batteries. CATL has claimed to have developed super batteries with a range of 2 million kilometers over a lifespan of 16 years. CATL super batteries can now be produced in large quantities, with costs expected to be 10% lower than current batteries. The plan to commercialize the cell to chassis CTC, technology, which integrates battery units into the vehicle chassis, is also underway with the aim of achieving commercialization by 2030. If integration between the battery and vehicle system is achieved through CTC technology, space utilization and vehicle power utilization can be improved. Additionally, reducing the number of components will help reduce costs. The development of a new type of battery that does not contain nickel or cobalt is also noteworthy. Nickel and cobalt are core components of batteries, and many battery companies are reducing their use of expensive cobalt. In July 2021, CATL announced the world's first sodium ion battery. The first sodium ion battery has an energy density of 160 WH kilogram, which is currently the highest level in the world. It can charge up to 80% within 15 minutes at room temperature, and has a discharge retention rate of over 90% at temperatures minus 20 degrees Celsius. The working principle of the sodium ion battery is similar to that of the lithium ion battery. Although sodium ions shuttle between the cathode and anode, compared with lithium ions, sodium ions have a larger volume and require higher structural stability and material movement characteristics. This has always been the bottleneck for the industrialization of sodium ion batteries. Based on a series of chemical innovations, the first-generation sodium-ion battery from CATL has high energy density, fast charging capabilities, excellent thermal stability, outstanding low temperature performance, and high integration efficiency. The only major remaining issue is to increase production capacity. Currently, CATL is preparing to establish a raw material supply system for sodium-ion batteries. According to SNE Research, a professional battery market research firm, global demand for electric vehicles is expected to grow at an annual rate of 33% from 2.32 million units in 2019 to approximately 55.68 million units in 2030. Demand for electric vehicle batteries is also increasing, with an annual growth rate of 37% from the 118 GWh demand level in 2019 and is expected to reach 3647 GWh in 2030. In short, the electric vehicle battery market is shaping the future landscape of electric vehicles. Due to changes in geopolitical conditions, the procurement of major minerals and raw materials may not proceed smoothly. However, 
Chinese companies that hold absolute advantages in the supply of rare earth and other minerals are most advantageous. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.